Good morning guys. So today I'm here doing a collab with a young lady named Shelby from Xperi Makeup. If you haven't been to her channel yet, I strongly suggest you go and check her out. She is very good at what she does and I'm excited that she uh, wants to collab with me. So today I am doing the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream. So I'm going to put these to the test side by side all day and see which one I feel is better and which one I would suggest for you to buy this one or this one. Or I may say buy them both. But I want to see how they both perform side by side throughout the day. Hopefully they both do good. These are not cheap concealers at all. One of them was 26 and one of them was 24. The Tarte one is exclusive to Ulta and I believe that Kat Von D is exclusive to Sephora. Alright, so we're going to start with the Tarte and we're going to start with Tarte on my right side. I'm so bad at like right and left. Actually, if you've been watching my channel, you know I'm so bad at a lot of things. I don't know how to speak very well, but oh well. The chart, I got mine in medium. I wanted to get medium light, but they didn't have it. So I'm going to be using two separate sponges to put them on. Now, both of these sponges are from the same company. They're very similar in consistency, so that won't be an issue when we're trying these on. Let's start with the Tarte. And I do have a neutral foundation on, which is the Marc Jacob foundation. And I'll be doing a full review on this on Saturday if you guys are interested in that. All right, so the Tarte Concealer First in Medium. It is a very big doe foot applicator and I have watched a few reviews on this and it says you don't need too much of it. All right, let's go ahead and blend this one out and see how this blends. I'm kind of excited. All right, so it blends really well. It's very thick in consistency, so that is really nice and I've heard this stuff stays on all day. It really did cover up my dark circles under my eyes. Blends really well with the blender and I like the way it is sitting in my pores. All right, so now on the, the left side, we are going to try the Kat Von D. And this one is supposed to be full coverage too. And I got this one in natural. Medium natural is what it's called. So hopefully this one will match the other on the other side. And I have a few little things that I want to cover up there. They both go on really nice. I like the way they both go on so far. That one was quicker to blend out. Yeah, so this side of my face is definitely darker than this side. And that's just because I was unable to get the right colors. When you have to go like from one store to the next to try to find something that matches, it doesn't work. I should have kept a swatch on my arm, but I didn't. So there's the charts. And there is the Kat Von D. They both seem to be sitting really, really nice. They both feel really comfortable and not cakey on my skin, which is really, really nice. This Marc Jacob foundation is really, really, it's, it's kind of a thicker full coverage foundation. So they don't feel like I'm adding any like product to my eyes, which is really, really nice. So that's the Tarte so far. And this is the Kat Von D. Of course, they are not the same color, so I look really, really weird. And I'm going to be going to the store today, so that's going to be awesome. Okay, so I'm going to use the number 7 setting powder. Alright, I'm going to go put the rest of my makeup on, and I will be right back. Let's see how this works. We're doing Tarte Kat Von D. Whew. Okay, bye guys. Alright guys, so I am back. I am testing out the Tarte shape tape concealer and it's going up against the Kat Von D, the new concealer that just came out for her. So as you can see, this side is just a little darker than this side, but not by much. So hopefully it won't <laughs> be too bad while I'm out shopping today. As far as the way both of these set with makeup, so far the Tarte one seems to not be getting it in the fine lines under my eyes. This one, not really, but just slightly more than the Tarte one. So, so far the Tarte is in the running, but I want to see how these last on my face throughout the day. They're both very, very easily blendable and they do not move around your foundation when you put them on. And they set really, really fast, which is awesome. They, they do have pretty good coverage. So far, so good. I really do like both of them. 
I can't say that I like one better than the other as of right now. So we're gonna put them to the test. I'm gonna go about my day. I'll be back in about 10 hours or so, show you what it looks like at the end of the day. Fingers crossed both of these stay put because I am rooting for both of these concealers. Really want both of these to work and I wanna love them both. But we will see what happens at the end All of right, the day. All right guys, we are back. So my thoughts on this is that they are both very nice concealers. In nine hours, they have not started separating on my face. Neither one has. The only difference that I can tell, and it's just by a smidgen, not by very much, is that this one has a tiny bit more of a blur effect on my face than this one does. This one, the Tarte just fills in my pores just a tiny bit more. And so I would say that the Tarte is better by a hair, not by much at all. This one is just as good though. So, I mean, it just all depends on what brand you like better. This one I believe is like a dollar or two more than the Tarte one, but they're both extremely good. I mean, they have lasted all day on my face and I'm, when I say they've lasted all day on my face, like they have literally lasted all day on my face through heat, through shopping, through falling asleep, I mean, through anything that you would do throughout the day, they have lasted on my face, and I have no complaints for either one of these. I cannot say the same for other concealers that I have tried in the past. These two are definitely must-buys if you are wanting a concealer that's going to last all day. This one, for sure, I think is a little bit better than this one, but not by much really not by much I would be happy with either one of these and I will continue to use both of these because I like them both I can't say anything bad about either one of them they both blend very well they both stood on all day they both covered up the areas that I wanted to cover I mean I've been picking up that because I pick but I mean they really have both of them have been so good I cannot I have no complaints. I have gotten oily because, you know, I get oily through the day and I have just touched up with a powder or a blot blotting sheet and these things do not move. I am highly impressed with both. I suggest both of them if you're looking for a new concealer and you want something to last all day. They do not feel overly cakey on your face. I cannot feel them on my face. I love them. Both of them are really good. So with that said, do not forget to go over to Shelby's channel at Experian Makeup and check out and see how she came about with her two foundations. See if she liked both of them or liked one or the other better. But for me, I, I have to say that both of these are pretty high on my list. I would not complain on either one of them. They're both really good and I did not use like a Tarte foundation or a Kat Von D foundation I used something completely different because I wanted to give them both a fair advantage and I like them both so if you have any questions about this please comment down below let me know if you tried either one of them which one you like better or if you like them both I am giving them both two thumbs up because I would be happy with either one and I am happy with either one of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this little test. Please let me know if you have any questions for sure down in the comment bar. Don't forget to go to Experian Makeup Shelby's channel and check her out and please show her some love. She's really good at her channel. She's, I think she may be a makeup artist or is going to school for makeup artistry or whatever, but she's, I, she deserves more subscribers. She really does. So don't forget to check her out and thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.